totally fine. Good afternoon and welcome to the second part of decluttering my wardrobe. This rack is exactly the same as when I left it last week in the last video. And today I'm going to be working on shoes because they really need it. And also my handbags. I did just buy some new storage boxes for my handbags. The same as the two grey ones up there. So I'm going to unwrap them and get them ready. And we're going to do the handbags first and then we'll get into shoes. So this is my bag shelf. Uh, it's really not ideal at all. So I'm gonna get some storage up in here, declutter, get rid of a few things if I really don't need them and try and organize this space just a little bit better. It's pretty bad. So I'm gonna take everything out and we'll just start fresh. <sighs> okay, before I start that, I need to change. It is like a thousand degrees in here and wearing a button up shirt and jeans from what I wore shopping today is just not ideal. So I'm gonna change into something more comfortable and then we can get on with this. It is honestly so hot in here with that sun coming in and I can't keep the door open because you can't really hear me and there's like a little too much background noise if I hit the door open and the sun just went behind the clouds for a second and now it's back out. So I'm going to sort through some of these bags and put them into these boxes here. I'll go through some of them with you. I've got um, a number of little clutch bags here. I have my black mon purse little monogrammed clutch that I actually got from Benefit Cosmetics years ago. I don't even know how many years, maybe 2015. It's adorable. It's just got like a little Benefit thing on the inside and then my initials on the outside. I use this all the time, so I'm definitely keeping that. I have this beautiful gold purse that I got from Seed around Christmas time. Yes! Sun is going behind the clouds again. Please stay behind the clouds. The one time I don't want you out. I love this. This is amazing. I paid $35 for it on sale. It is super glam and it's going to glam up any outfit that I have. And it's got a zip on it too. So it's um, nice and secure and I love it. I have this black little clutch. It's like a velvet clutch. It's gold. It's adorable and I love it. However, it's very difficult to fit a lot in here. I put my phone in there and maybe like two or three things and that's it. Otherwise it won't close. And because it's from Colette and it's more of a cheaper bag... Um, the gold on here is quite fine, but the chain that comes with it is completely tarnished and I do want to invest in a really nice black bag that I can take out at night time, I can wear it during the day, and that is bigger than this so that I can actually fit enough in it whenever I need to do anything or go anywhere. So I'm going to pass that one onto a new home. I have this blue glitzy clutch that I don't even know the last time I wore, but it kind of has sentimental value and I hate things that have sentimental value because it makes me hold on to them for just a little bit longer. I have this little shopping bag woven bag thing it's so cute I love it I got this on eBay for like $13 or something I wore this all through Italy and I would actually use this little black pouch to keep all of my good important little things in and then this one could have the rest of it in there because well there's holes in it so you're gonna lose stuff and I did really like this I just don't know if I'm over that woven-y like shopping baggy you'll see the other bags I'm talking about in a second that I'm kind of over but I'm not sure if I'm over them. It's it's hard to explain. So on that note is one of these bags. These bags, do you know what I mean? It's like a very beachy, very like I'm going on a tropical holiday kind of bag and I don't know if I should keep this or not. I love that it's got this little strap but I just feel like these are so overdone now. I'm not feeling it anymore so I'm just I'm just not sure. This one is my first ever designer purchase and look at the leather on that. I remember when I bought this and the leather was like that really beautiful white creamy color and then as it ages it goes to that dark brown color that you know so well. And I have no idea what this bag is called. It was just a really nice tote bag with a strap that I could actually fit my laptop in at the time. However, I have a 15 inch laptop now so a 15 inch laptop never fits anywhere. Oh my gosh, the inside is so stunning. I haven't used this bag in such a long time. It would make such a good little overnight bag. It really would. It needs a clean and badly. I need to take all of my bags actually to like a, what do you call them? Like a bag person that refurbishes and just makes things nice and gives them a service. I need a bag service. That's what I need. So as much as I haven't really used this one in a long time, it is the very first designer bag that I ever purchased. And I think that has some sentimental value and I just... I can't see myself saying goodbye to that just yet. And the other bag that I have in here is amazing. I love this. And now that it's autumn, I remembered this this morning that I can bring it back out because it is such a wintry autumn bag. I never use this in summer, but oh my God, I'm looking at it and it's so beautiful. I have no idea what this one is either. It's a little speedy though, and it's a fabric speedy and it's in a nice brownie, chocolatey color. It's stunning, but like I said, it is such a wintry bag because now we're in autumn. Oh, look, this one has some Panadol and and one of those little McDonald's things when they do their like McDonald's Monopoly. So this is fun. This is a fun game finding all these surprises. 
I just remembered I have one other handbag. It's just here. Well, actually, no, I lie. I have two other handbags. Um, three, technically, if you include my uni bag. I have my um, Givenchy and my Gucci out there because I use those all the time. But I have this stunning pinko bag that I bought when I was in Italy and the camera just doesn't do this justice. It is the most beautiful navy blue. It's such a royal looking blue and it's got gold detailing all over it. It's velvet up the top, leather down the bottom. I feel like I should have a dust bag for that. I'm pretty sure it might be in the box that I've got you resting on. It amazes me that I've been living with such a mess up there for all this time when all I had to do was buy two storage boxes and completely change the whole thing. I know I have some unnecessary boxes and packaging in all of this, but it's mostly for my designer stuff. It's just so that if I want to resell it, I've got all the packaging there. This is not designer though. That actually can go. <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. And you know how I was just talking about how fun it is to find things in handbags? Well, in the bottom of the dust bag of the Autumn Louis Vuitton bag that I like to wear, I found a packet of chewing gum, which is totally fine, um, a lip balm, which is great. I also found the tiny little dial thing, numbers, that actually sits on the top of the camera that I'm filming with, and I thought I had lost this forever. So there we go, I just need a little bit of glue and I can fix my camera so it'll look like new. And that was not an intentional rhyming game, I swear. I'm just gonna pop it on top of the camera later but yeah it's always fun finding things you didn't know you had it looks so much better up there so you can see all of the boxes and packaging that i was talking about before but that looks amazing i can't believe i fit everything into those two boxes i have the one bag out on the side just because i know i'll use that in the next couple of weeks and i'm getting rid of two bags to be able to keep all of my bag and fit them into those two boxes is insane. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. Now it's just time to deal with this situation. I have three of these bookshelves. They're three tier bookshelves from Kmart. I actually have another one up there as well. And it's kind of how I store my shoes. To be honest, I think there are probably other and better storage systems. But this is what I've got, so I'm going to go with it. I have this pair from Betts that, if I'm really honest, I tried to wear the other week and I just don't like them anymore. So I think I'm going to pass these on. They're like beautiful ribbon shoes that you tie up around the ankle, but I'm just not feeling it. Next, I have my new Alice May shoes, which I feel like I kind of destroyed one night when I went out, and it sucks because they're new, but love them. Then I have these ones, which are from Merchant, and Anna gave these to me, and I love them. Then I have these yellow ones from Ruby. I also have the same ones in black, and if I'm honest, I'm not going to wear either of these again, so... These can go in the donate pile. Okay, these ones are my Tony Bianco super strappy heels. I'm going to pass on these Nine West ones because they are disgusting and I bought the Tony Bianco ones to replace them. I don't know about this box yet. We'll come back to that. These are some new ones that I got this season. So these are from Merchant as well. Next, I have a couple of pairs of Ruby shoes. So these green ones have been my favorite shoes forever. They're so incredibly comfortable. Ruby doesn't make this exact style anymore, but they make a slightly different different style and these ones I've only had for a couple of months the black ones and they're really uncomfortable like you can see that that's all tearing up there it's because this toe part has stretched out so much that they're really uncomfortable whereas this is still nice and rigid they both could really do with a clean <laughs> I've collected more shoes. I am really a shoe person, if you can't tell. These are some of my new boots that I got from Joe Mercer, so I'm definitely going to keep these. I also kind of like to color coordinate my wardrobe sometimes because I'm crazy. I also have these wedges from C by Chloe, which I love. I got these actually last winter, and they're such a great summer shoe. Dan just called me, and he's on his way here, so I'm going to smash through all of this. I feel like this video is even more disorganized than the the last one and I, I don't know what it is about decluttering where I just don't even know where to start or what I'm doing. Still have a giant pile of shoes that I'm working through and I'm slowly starting to color coordinate the top shelf. It's looking so beautiful. I love it. Um, And yeah, I'm going to get through this really quickly and we're going to finish getting all of my shoes sorted. These are some shoes that I've had for a million years. I've had these since 2015. They're from Windsor Smith. They have a little tassel on the back of them. They're black suede. They have a gold thing under the heel here. Absolutely stunning. A pair of my favorite shoes of all time and super comfortable because the heel is so low and they are thrashed. I should probably maybe get rid of them, but I don't want to because they're absolutely so comfortable and stunning and I love them. Wow, I just found a ticket from when I was in Paris on September 16th, 2014. I think that was from when I went up the Eiffel Tower. How crazy! It is always such an adventure when you clean out things. Okay, 
flat shoes. Flat shoes, I have one little cubby hole down here for just flat shoes and it works really well. It's not exactly the neatest, but it's very, very simple and I like it. So I have my little brown brogues that I got from Betts last winter, I think. My leopard print slides from Novo. I have my brown Sapo sandal slides, love them. I just remembered I think I was going to put some of these away into a box up there for next season because I don't need them anymore. So we can get rid of all of these sandals. I have thigh high boots that are in this um, brown tan suede. It's a very orangey suede though compared to what I thought it was going to be. I bought these from a website called Goodnight Macaroon which is an American website. Bought them this time last year and I did wear them quite a bit last winter and I was going to get rid of them but then I decided last minute to keep them. They do need a bit of a clean. Why do all my shoes need a clean? Honestly. Does anyone out there regularly clean their shoes because I feel like that's something I need to start doing? And I know that these kinds of shoes should not be folded over and they should have paper in them or something, but honestly, I don't care because I've had them folded up in a box for the last six months and they look fine. So we're just going to leave them as is. I also have black ones that I got from Betts. These ones have a rounded toe instead of the point and I love them. They're super comfy and I wear them a lot in winter. These are my new ankle boots. These are from Joe Mercer. They're the exact same as the brown ones here. I love them. They are so comfortable, although not at first. They're incredibly uncomfortable and gave me blisters like there's no tomorrow for the first like two weeks. But now they are so, so comfortable. These are also my new riding boots that I got from Merchant. And these ones I will be putting a bit of paper or plastic bags or something in here because these ones I want to maintain their shape. I definitely made some progress. I'm going to donate all of these shoes because they're actually completely fine, except maybe the nude ones because they're pretty gross. But that's cool. I got rid of five pairs of shoes. I'm feeling really good about that. The rest are looking really neat and all organized and much more wintry. I've put a few away. I've got my boots up there and my sneakers, which I can get the other sneakers and bring them in too. The only other things that I have to do in here are the accessories that I have up there and there. So we're making a lot of progress in this room and I'm really excited. I think what I'll do though is I'll do the accessories when I do the very end of the room because I would like to do the little chest of drawers that I want to put over here and my accessories will probably go on it. So yeah, anyway, happy with my shoes. I think they look really good. I like how it's come together. I think I'm done for the day, which is great timing because the sun's about to go down in which I can't film anymore and Dan's almost here. I've gotten rid of two handbags, five pairs of shoes. I feel like it was great progress. I'm really excited. I'm excited that everything in here is really neat. I'm so happy about the storage boxes and can't believe that I fit everything up there into two boxes. I should have done this a really long time ago. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this declutter video. I will be back with a couple more finishing touches like my accessories and the styling of the new chest of drawers and everything. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. Up the top here you can check out my last video. Down the bottom I'll leave a link to another one of my videos and I'll see you in the next one.